Slavery? Uh, wait, wait, why? What? I... Okay, let I, me try that again. Slavery! I, oh, slavery is what you said. Oh, jeez. I thought you said savory. I was so fucking confused. It's delicious! Oh my god. All right. Um so I between episodes I just had to wait a bunch of days till it was raining. I had to futz around with the game over and over and over until it finally allowed me to go into Emily's house. For, the game is really finicky about her schedule. Let's let's do a side quest. Uh, this is the last Whoa. mission of the game that we're allowed to do this one. Hey Emily. Something smells good. Really? I'm trying to make a meatloaf this time. A meatloaf, huh? Nice. That's a basic dish for every household. Yep, my mother cooked it pretty often, too. Would you like to give it a taste? Uh, again? Uh, well, I can... Don't worry. I've done the poison testing already, and I made something pretty tasty last time, didn't I? Emily, maybe we should do this another time. The stove is on fire currently. Mmm. So, how's mm. it taste? Mm. Emily, I have to admit, this one is hard to comment on. One can insert it into their mouth, that much is certain. But I'm not sure if the human digestive system can handle this and digest it. I love this dialogue. <sighs> it's so good. Oh, Emily, no need to get depressed. It's just like last time. We just need to identify the missing ingredient. And that might turn today's cooking into a tasty dish. So, what is it this time? I'm thinking a vegetable. One that becomes sweeter when heated. A sweet vegetable? I have no idea. Then Zach and I will bring it to you like last time. Okay, I'll keep trying by myself, too. Alright, do you know what vegetable becomes sweet when you cook it? Potatoes? Mm, I can see that, but no. Except that might be a fruit. Um, uh, oh, yeah, I do remember reading there's some weirdness about the categorization of that. Is a yam a fruit or a vegetable? That's a vegetable, and it's a really good guess, but it's not the right one. Yams aren't in this game for whatever reason. Is it hmm, a pickle? No. <laughs> can of pickles. No. Throw the can of pickles it's, at her. It's not a can of pickles. I'm sorry to break our. Oh, it's not a lollipop either. Cigarette heavy. No, it's not cigarette heavy. I wonder if anyone, and everyone in the comments, by the way, if you don't already know the solution, pause here and say in the comments what you uh, what you think it is, and then edit your comment to say whether you got it right or wrong or your reaction or whatever. Uh, whenever, uh, whenever you actually find out, because I'm curious. Is it I okay anything? It is not I okay anything. Do you give up? Mm. I'll have one more guess. Okay. Keith Ingram. It is not Keith Ingram. So Damn. it's onion. Onion becomes sweet when you cook it. Uh, I do have to wonder why she needs an onion when you can see an onion on the kitchen counter right there with a knife sticking out of it, but okay. So clearly she was chopping onion for this. Uh, you want some root beer? Maybe I have assorted coffees, a first aid kit, some stabilizer, which I'm not sure what's in that. A road flare. Here onion. we go. Onion. Emily, the answer is onion. <laughs> Square <laughs> bracket onion. <laughs> Both times. The meatloaf is finished. And it tastes good, too. It really is good, isn't it? Probably good enough to sell. Emily, this certainly tastes good. But if I were you, I wouldn't quit my job to become a cook just yet. It'll be a tough career move. You think so? I'd like to get other people's opinions, too. I can't recommend that. <laughs> Jesus. I'm trying to be polite about this, you know. Then you should stick to being polite until we finish eating. I can't believe you're the only person I have to eat this fine meal with. <clears throat> Zach, we search for ingredients for her, and we help her with her cooking. We even went as far as to praise the taste. And yet she still gets angry. I love York. Are all women this way? Do they all just snap like this? Either way, I can't figure her out. 
That's Emily, stop doing that. We're at the dinner table. Agent hey, don't York, call me that. I hate I'm when people call me that. I got a little emotional on you. <laughs> that but joke is so many levels deep. Today. <laughs> she gave us a card of her own cooking called industrial much, waste. Oh, good job. Please, I, I want you to have it. Yeah, another nice try cooking. Unlocked. For those of you who don't understand the joke that uh, that I played off, uh, good. <laughs> yeah, it's it it's fine. You don't need context, everybody. This show's terrible anyway. Uh, let's save just because I'm paranoid about going in and out of doors. I haven't had a crash related to that in a very long time, but you know why risk it? Okay, so most quests in the game, uh, when the quest giver gives you multiple quests and it says they can be done in the same chapter, you just need to wait 24 hours. For whatever reason, with Emily ones, uh, they have to be on separate chapters. So the next Emily quest, which is the last Emily quest, is uh, this one right here. You have to do that on chapter 13 at this point because it's chapter 11 right now. We just did this. So on chapter 13, we have to do that. It's our last chance to do that quest. And the reward is okay. Uh, mostly it's just a really fun quest line. So that is why I'm like really careful about that. And also because we want to try and do every quest. Um, so the next big one is the Carol and Isaac Ingram one. Obviously we can't cash in with Isaac right now because our main story thing is to go find Isaac. Uh, but the Carol one, that's quest three, which is this chapter. Okay, so we can at least find Carol. Now, if I understand correctly, and again, we haven't been able to do this on many chapters because the game is not always the best about being correct on what chapters you can do this. Uh, we're allowed to do this quest for the vast majority of the game. It takes a long time before it gets locked off. So hopefully all we need to do, and we'll see if it works, we need to teleport to the Tree of Ana and sleep in the shed at the Tree of Ana over and over and over until it's a clear day early in the morning and Carol should be there. We can give her the picture. That'll be that part of the quest. And then next chapter, we can go up to Isaac Ingram and finish that whole quest line. And those are the ones we've been trying to complete forever. After that, there's going to be a lot of beelining of the story, I think, because um, there's actually like we've beelined the main or sorry, the side quests so much that there are very few side quests left that aren't just, you know, give, uh, what was it, uh, give trading cards to Usha and stuff like that, where it's just, you know, Wasn't whenever you wind up. Right, it was uh, Wesley, Usha's the, the doctor. I don't think we ever have to do a side quest for Usha again. He's a pretty minor character. Actually, they're both really minor characters. Wesley is probably the most minor character in the in the cast, which is why, as far as I know, uh, as far as I can think off the top of my head, the only time you ever see him is in the Panda Bear and at City Hall that one time. Like, they didn't bother giving him a walking animation, I don't think, because he's either leaning on a wall or sitting in a chair. He's one of the only people who, as far as I know, doesn't have a daily schedule. Like, he doesn't drive around and do stuff. So he's not a killer, or the killer, rather. Yeah, you can probably figure that one out. Is Like, we've met everyone at this point, so we have definitely met the killer. Um, your HP bar was past your bar, it looked uh, like. Oh, I'll have to pay attention to that for later. I bet it's a glitch based around my suit. Because my suit uh, gives me more, more max health. It's a special one. Uh, so she's not here right now. Yeah, it's just Francis York Morgan. Where is she right now? That's Roaming Sigourney, which I can do a quest for right now. Um, so I might just want to, just to get it out of the way. Uh, Jesus, you're so good at that. Where is she right now? Carol McLean is who we're looking for. Uh, right now it's, what, six in the morning. So she's probably either at home or... Wait, hold on, that's... At the bar. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, maybe she's walking her... Oh, you walking know what, here. yeah, maybe. That or maybe A&G Diner having breakfast, because I know she, that's part of her schedule. Really? Am I blind? Have I gone through all of them and just not seen her? 
Okay, let me just surf around manually a little bit. Uh, Olivia. Angie's right here. Nobody's at Angie, so I guess it's not open yet. Um, well, what time is it? Carol McLean, here we go. I, I didn't see her because they all, all the overlapping. Oh, yeah, she is at, at the, the Galaxy bar. of Terror. Okay. There we go. So if we wait, mm, let's say three hours. It's six in the morning right now, and it says early morning on a clear day, maybe nine o'clock she'd be here. That's the shortest increment of time we can sleep. And I think she stays at the Tree of Ana for a few hours. Hmm. So Look at your health right now. The bar itself is Oh, yeah, it is, is just slightly, bar. yeah. Uh, I don't see her. God, this whole area looks all glitched out, doesn't it? It's like, it, it almost looks like the textures are, like, desynced a little. Okay. This looks muddy. Sigourney's still there. Yes, the Forest Keeper cabin. Is she still at the Galaxy of Terror? Or Okay, Thomas no, is there. Thomas moved, yeah. Nick and Olivia are running the diner right now. Um, I uh, Hold on. Where was she a second ago? She was Galaxy of Terror, right? Yeah, with uh, Diane and Thomas. Galaxy of Terror, no one's at it right now because it's closed at this time. I don't know why they'd be there overnight. Thomas is at work at the department. Um, if she's not at A&G, is she at home? I think she sleeps during some of the daytime. That's Oh, yeah, Keith and Lily are at the Milk Barn. Uh, I need where was the apartments again? The, the like motel because that's where she lives. Because it's uh, Fiona. Oh, who is it? It's Fiona, Thomas, and Carol all live at like this little motel area that you don't really go to that often. I don't really remember where it is on the map, so I'm just hitting the skip forward button to surf well, around for. Fiona's at work. Yeah, she's at work, which she's pretty much always at work. Isn't it just down this way? It doesn't feel like it'd be this far out. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not that far out. Uh, this. No, because that's the graveyard. So that's Lysander. We're basically done with Lysander for now. Um, Emily's still at home. She hasn't left for work, even though her co-workers are at work. Uh, why am I not remembering where the apartments are? I guess you'd barely ever go in that direction. I think it's like one of the weird side paths. You know, like you're driving by the lake really far and there's just not much out there. Oh, here it is. Um, yeah, she's at yep. home. Okay, here's the apartments. Okay, I got to remember that, that it's out. Uh, what's the nearest thing? Okay, it's not too far from the hospital then. Okay. That's a short commute for uh, Fiona. Yeah, that's that actually makes a lot of sense. And then right over here is the main part of town with the department and everything. OK, and the galaxy is here. Why is she not over here yet? Wasn't it early afternoon on a clear day? Maybe it was early afternoon and I'm misremembering. You know what? Did the did the text quest or the quest text? Yeah, the say, Isaac one tells you. Uh, Isaac was 12. Yeah. Uh, early afternoon. Okay, I was thinking early morning. That's my problem. Okay, so I'm thinking, okay, we'll, we'll try for noon because we're at nine anyway. And then we'll kind of inch forward a little bit, see what's happening, see if it looks like she's at least driving on her way here. So, okay, we're exactly at afternoon now. So this is a safe starting point, I think, for this. Um, okay, I don't see her name popping up anywhere. Let's see where she is. Maybe she's on the road. Okay. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say her name is anywhere in the park. Uh, hold on, is that? Oh, yeah. Isaac, Isaiah, and Willie are all just, and Forrest are all just hanging out by the, uh, by the community center. Okay, weird. Okay, uh, Thomas is there. Is that, okay, nope, Carol's not there. It looks, okay, suspect and suspect. We know that those are the only two people we haven't talked to manually, which would mean that's Harry and uh, Michael. So they're probably mean, going for their lunch. Uh, What's his name? You mean Psycho Mantis? Yeah, Psycho Mantis and Michael. Who, hold on, who's that? That's Carol. She's on yep, the road. She's on the road. And, okay, so she's on the road. She is probably driving to the Tree of Ana, which means she'd be here in like an hour. Civilians in this game drive pretty slow. Uh, why can't I? You're, oh, you're I'm hungry. hungry, yeah. I just keep getting my health back because... <laughs> eat a raw egg. I just keep getting my health back because I keep sleeping, and sleep is a full heal. Okay, we'll eat a cherry pie. Um, and, and then, then smoke. smoke. This is really healthy. 
I, 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 She's still, in the, she's still in the same spot in the road. You remember that glitch you talked about? Yeah, I think that might be what's going on. Okay, I'm going to manually go over to her. Yeah, so for anyone who doesn't know, there's a glitch sometimes where sometimes smoking will not cause people to move. Sometimes they will and sometimes they won't. I'm going to go to the ANG diner. We need to eat anyway. I'll, I'll pop in and eat, maybe going in and out of a load zone. Might, I don't know. It might teleport her to where she needs to be. That's possible. I've seen things like that happen before. Their schedules are a little bit malleable. Um, and if not, we'll be really close to her and we can drive over to her and tail her. Okay, hold on. That's her right here. Hi, Carol. Okay, anything from one? Yeah. Yeah, we can't give her the photo right now for some reason. Why is she in here? Hmm. Okay. Uh... Give me T-bone steak, sure, whatever. It probably mm. would fill me. Mm. Mm. This is the kind of shit I normally try and do in between episodes to set things up because it's such a pain in the ass to do some side quests. But uh, I couldn't really set up this one and the Emily one, so I set up the Emily one because that one was more important to get it done immediately because it's the last chapter we could have done it and not miss the next one. So, Kale's maybe she was on her there. way to the A and G. Ah, uh, you know what? Maybe because she was like here, so maybe she was driving this way. Yeah, it's like one thirty though. I would consider it early afternoon. Um, maybe sleep for three hours. Yeah, let's just try that. I'm trying to think of fast places I can sleep. Uh, like, the fast place I can load is I usually go to the park, which is the Forest Keeper's cabin, and it gets you right next to a save point. But for fast places to sleep, like, the hotel makes sense, but the hotel, you're running in and out of a bunch of load zones, and you gotta run all the way to the bed and everything. There's You don't suppose that by sleeping at the Tree of Ana that you're also preventing Carol from coming over there? It's a stretch. It's, uh, it's possible. I could see that being a thing. I don't think that's a thing, but I could honestly see that being a problem. Um, if we can't get her to show up today, we'll sleep through the night. We'll go in the hotel and sleep. That way, like, we're not even outside. We're, we're inside of a building. So if they if the game wants to be, like, really, like, hiding that they're teleporting around, it gets a golden opportunity. Because I could see them writing something in the game where, like, if you're outside, we don't want you to see someone appear, and they just overlooked how, if you're sleeping, it makes sense for them to just appear. Oh, They're never mind, just... hold on. Thank fucking God. Carol. <laughs> anyway. Side quest done. Achievement unlocked. Wait. Around here. Did you see? See what? Oh, nothing. Just I mean, it. we cut her off. And walked off camera. Zach, I wonder what she was looking for here. Yay! She was looking for this FBI officer that kind of just walked off frame left. Yeah, that was a weird shot there. I also love that she's just here at the Tree of Honest Smoking, and we just walk out of a shack. She's been here for probably hours, and we just walk out of a shack. She, did she just put a lit cigarette in her pocket? No, she's clearly still smoking it. Oh, oh my God, she is. She's smoking nothing. Hold on, I want to give it a second to see if she puts it up to her mouth. Because so, out of focus picture is the one we need to show her, but... Oh, uh-oh. Oh. oh, she's completely frozen. <laughs> she's okay. frozen. I think the game knows she's going to take a drag of her cigarette, but she doesn't have it on her. All right, let's just she do the She one of York's mini picture. cigarettes. The ones that he yeah, somehow has is. but doesn't have. So what? The smoke is coming from I where her pocket used somewhere. to be. Isaac and Isaiah picked it up. They found it here. Really? Then I'll have to thank them for finding it. So this is you and Anna? What makes you think The picture that? is you lit on fire by the cigarette. Every day when it's not raining. You wouldn't do that just to look for a photo of someone else. Impressive. Is that what you want me to say? And you're right. That's me and Anna in the picture. Silly, isn't it? It's so blurry, you can't really tell who's in it. So who took the picture? 
Uh, hand motion? Uh-oh. Uh, it didn't lock up, did it? Anna did. Okay, she wanted thank a God. Picture of us both together. I didn't really want one. So she pointed the camera at us by herself while I was moving around. And that's what happens when you try to take a picture like that. She was always so silly and happy. She took so many pictures. She always printed a load of them and gave them to everyone. Everyone just threw them away. So what about this one? <sighs> you don't make copies of the blurry pictures, do you? We weren't even that close. But I couldn't throw this one away. I see. <laughs> one last Stop thing, looking though. at the camera. Where was this picture taken? Where? Nowhere special. Anna's room. Yay! I don't know why we got that for this, but I needed it. Okay. Thank you, Carol. Try not to lose your stuff anymore. I'll give you this as a thank you gift for getting my picture back. I don't want you thinking I owe you anything. Zach, did you hear that? Why would she say, nowhere special? She's trying to hide the fact that it was indeed a very special place. That, that seems like a little bit of a stretch, York. All right, so that was, that was a really easy quest. And now that we've done that, we can report back to Isaac. It's just obviously that has to be next chapter. However, we still have some time left in this episode, and there is another quest that we can for sure do right now. A Polly Jenkins one. At least we have our fucking insane freak car now. So we can get her, like, across the whole map in 10 seconds if we don't completely spin out. Wait, Polly Jenkins? Yeah. Pa no? Sigourney. Roaming Sigourney, yeah. Roaming Sigourney. I was going to say, different, different old woman, and I know that they are kind of related being, like, the supermodels of 1940-something. Yeah. But... Did you notice, by the way, that, uh... What the hell is that? That's the main quest, isn't it? Oh! I... But... Okay. <laughs> uh, I hope that doesn't matter. Isaiah. They're over there. Let's go. All right, we're good. I double checked. This isn't gonna unlock us out of any quests. We're good. Isaac and Isaiah, I hear you're teaching Willie to do tricks. What's your secret? It's the easy. blood of our enemies. Really simple. <laughs> if he does it right, we give him a treat. A cookie if he does it right. I see. I'm very clever. What dogs are allergic to so, chocolate though? Me. They can't eat chocolate. Tell me your special secret. No, we can't. It won't be a secret if we tell. Fair point. I'm not telling. We promised Becky. Well, that's a problem. Because I also made a promise to Becky. I promised to catch the bad man. But I can't keep my promise if I don't know what the secret is. Do you see? Hmm. 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 Their yeah. eyes are so dead looking. She told us to give Diane a box. It wasn't that heavy. We took it to the art gallery and gave it to Diane. Is that all Becky gave you? Um, just when we were leaving to take the box to Diane, Becky called us back. She handed us something. It was small and round. She told us to keep it safe in our pocket and give it to Diane. <laughs> York. And then you met Carol on your way? Yep. I took the round thing out of my pocket and we looked at it. And then she talked to us. We told her that we were on an errand for <laughs> Becky. She said she'd do it for us. But we told her no, because Becky asked us, not her. We promised Becky to do it ourselves. <laughs> Two lines in a row. Watch, they're just going to use the fusion so ha Becky technique. So did entrust the locket to them. And now Carol has it. Uh, right, Emily, Casey? Looking? Huh? You were in the room when Carol took the locket back from Diane. I saw you with Diane in the art gallery that day. Well... Yeah, I, 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 I was there in the room, but, but I was only uh, chatting with Diane. Oh, then Carol burst in, all angry looking. While Carol and Diane had their talk, oh, 
I, I just sat there like a frog. Yeah, so Carol took the locket from Diane, but that has nothing to do with me, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. But from this instant, you are now a key witness in this case. I'm afraid you can't leave town until you hear from me. What? Can you do that? This is all starting to sound a little like Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, Tweedledee and Tweedledum are right over there. you, Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just walked through this bench! Thank you. I think I'll be able to keep my promise with Becky thanks to you too. How is Becky? Is she getting better? She'll come and help out at our store again, won't she? She'll come and play with us again. Won't she? Boys, about Becky. Uh, that's right. Uh, um, Becky is almost totally better now. No. Oh. I don't think she'll be able to come and see you. I was told by Becky to keep this a secret, but she's actually a goddess of the forest, just like Anna. Oh, these kids are going to grow up to be fucked up. Anna for a while. Grow up to be. Who keep this a secret? Uh, fair. Too? Wow, that's why Anna and Becky are such good friends. Oh my god, they're gonna grow up to be serial okay, killers. Okay, Will Wait a minute. You're happy. Anna, you? Becky, Carol is probably so next, then Diane, then Emily. Too. A, B, C, D, E, oh damn! It's a good theory. The alphabet killer. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, Zach. Let's go and Zach is last. Oh shit! The case. First, Diane, the owner of the. It is worth pointing out every character in the game. Their first name starts with a different letter of the alphabet, and there is A through Z. Confirm this, and so she has an alibi. But then we have Wesley is W. Yeah. Thomas Brian. Brian. Brian the Insomniac. He shares. Yeah, there's a couple duplicates. Uh, Thomas, George, Emily, oh, uh, York. The, it's another questionnaire thing. Oh, um, where did this happen? At the art gallery? That's right. The art gallery. Yeah. Before entering the gallery, Diana Olivia went back Nick. towards Olivia. Almost as though she saw Olivia in the dark. Forest Nick's behavior has also become more suspicious Fiona. by the day. If Olivia is correct, then he is heavily involved in this case. But we have no conclusive evidence of that at the moment. The only thing we can say for sure is that Nick's whereabouts are unknown at the time of Becky's murder. He has no alibi for the crime. But that fact alone means nothing. So who was it that called Thomas to report trouble at Becky's place? The only guy with a cue. All right, Quint. That's right. It was Quint, Becky's boyfriend. He went to her house and saw the tragedy. Now, about Becky's murder. I'm embarrassed and mortified. Killer struck again while we were on the case. And he used some pliers. We found her bitten off tongue. A massive amount of red seeds that poured out of the blood and an inverted peace symbol, like the one seen at the site of Anna's murder. From the similarities, one can deduce that Anna's killer killed Becky. We also found one other important piece of evidence in Becky's room. Can you remember what that was, Zach? Do you remember? Um, Sketchbook the fragment. Sketchbook heals fragment of raincoat. Fragment. Stop no! Right. Yeah! Think harder. Okay, well, it was clearly the shoes. That's not right, Zach. Think harder. You're not thinking hard enough. Okay, my bad. It's the fragment of the raincoat. Okay. That's not right, Zach. Oh, shit. Think harder. You know what? I, I think... I think it's the fragment of the raincoat. I think it's the sketchbook. Man, I'm a genius. That's right. Nah. A sketchbook in Becky's room. It's not a sketchbook. It was a diary. She had apparently written a letter to her sister. That's fair. It was a diary. It revealed that Becky took a locket from Anna's body at the crime scene. She also admitted to borrowing a pair of Diane's stiletto heel shoes. So Miss Stiletto Heels 
was Becky. There was something else at the end of the letter. It said that she handed the locket and stiletto heel shoes to someone. Do you remember who, Zach? He was going to say, or I was going to say that at the end of the letter there was something, and I was going to say a period. Uh, Isaac and Isaiah. That's right, Zach. And from what Isaac and Isaiah told us, Carol offered to take the items to Diane, but the twins refused. They gave them to Diane themselves, as they had promised. For some reason, Carol wanted the locket. She ended up storming into the gallery to take it from Diane. And when Carol took the locket from Diane, Kaysen just happened to be there. Is Kaysen involved in this? Or was he just there by coincidence? I wonder what's so special about the locket, too. Why did Carol want it so badly? The questions are mounting. Oh my. Come to think of it, Quint, the first witness, has no alibi for Becky's death. We checked the phone records and his call definitely came from her house. Is it possible he attacked Becky and then called us from the scene? But everyone is suspicious one way or another. Yeah, I guess we don't know much about Quinn. What should we do next, Zach? Okay, who's the most suspicious? Alright, who do you think is the most suspicious between uh, Quint, Nick, and Diane? Nick? Yeah, me too. No, I don't think so, Zach. I hate this one, because this is our opinion. What do you think? Uh... All right. I just told you it's about Quint, so let's pick Quint. No, I don't think so, Zach. He's certainly suspicious, but there's Honestly, I think suspicious. Carol is more suspicious than Diane. I think they're both suspicious, but I'm more suspicious of Carol. I don't know why she's not on the list. That's right. Becky's sister and Carol's enemy, linked to both Nick and Kaysen, the elegant owner of the art gallery. Zach, that's our next move. We'll start with Diane. Like, all three of them were suspicious. Yeah. And, you know, Diane's hair kind of looks like what we see from some of the killer flashback so stuff. You want to find out everything but her body doesn't. Diane? That's right. There's just too many things that we don't know. First, we need more intel about the relationship between Nick and Diane. How? Oh, where'd our Nick beard go? Diane meet every night at the bar. Let's use that. George, we'll need no, you it's to just the lighting. The I don't know. Wait in the park. Clearly, it's just the lighting. And tail Diane when she leaves. It's fancy makeup. If she goes anywhere other than the bar, you let me know. Emily, you take the diner. A different actor Wait came on to play York. York to the bar too. As with George, if he goes anywhere else, then you let me know. Okay. Thomas, you keep a watch on them inside the bar. Yes, yes, I will. I'll be waiting in the parking lot of the bar. Once Nick and Diane are together, I will follow them wherever they go. What time do they usually show up, Thomas? Around the same time. Usually between 22 and 2300. Then at that time we do it, boys and girls. The lack of a comma in that sentence was very weird. We do it, boys and girls. Uh, so an interesting thing, the cutscene where we were talking to Isaac and Isaiah and Kaysen was there, you can actually do that cutscene in one of many places, um, which is really impressive, but that's also why he like clipped through a bench a little bit, was it it looks slightly better in some places than others. Like you could do that at the Tree of Anna, you could do that at like the Spruce Wood Farm or something, like there's a lot of places you can catch them walking around and do the cutscene. I've actually never seen it in that area, in uh, the back of the Mercury Theater. Which, by the way, I don't know when the fuck that appeared on our teleport list, but I remember we couldn't teleport there for a long time and it was pissing me off. Zach, we need to be at Carol's Bar at 2200. Looks like we have some time to kill. We can go to the diner and see how Nick and Olivia are doing. All right. On the next episode, everybody, we have a little bit of side questing to do. I think all we need to do, 
I'll double check my cards and everything, but I think all we need to do is a Sigourney quest or two, and then we can do the next main story again. Because the next point that side quests really open up again is chapter 13, uh, and we're on chapter 12. This chapter, we just need to do a Sigourney quest, and we can cash in our Isaac and Isaiah quest, and then we're right back on the main story. Until next time, have a nice day. I'm still blanking on who begins with an M.